guys, ADHD here, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. If you guys know the drill, camera flip through the legs, over here, under, and let's just keep it like this. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna keep it like this. Flip your phone upside down. We're gonna do the old intro backwards. I'm just kidding. But anyway, today's gonna be a very, very fun day because you guys have been wanting me to do this for a long time. There's the uh, ads in real life. You guys love that. And a lot of people were wanting to see another SpongeBob in real life. So where you take a scene from SpongeBob and recreate it, or something from SpongeBob and recreate it. Today, we're gonna try and do that. And you guys know the famous episode. He was number one. Smitty Man Wurban Hand Jits. I'll put a clip right here for those of you who don't know. What's his hat, Mr. Krabs? He was number one. Okay, he was number one. So basically, this is the hat right here. Took me a while to find it online, but found the exact replica of the Smitty Man Wurban Hand Jits and hat. And we're gonna try and create the actual soda drinking hat today and make one that actually just looks perfectly like it. Because if you look at the actual hat, there's no way that would really function too well as an actual drinking hat. So we're gonna try and make one that looks identical to it, as close as we can get it at least. And then another one which basically actually functions. So I can actually use this in the future for other videos and just for fun. And you know, there might be a video coming up very soon where it might be perfect for. And you'll see that right now. So we're gonna start on that right now. But you guys know the drill. Right now on your guys' screen are three different options. I'm gonna give you a clue. You're gonna aim for number one because you kind of have to today. Right now on your guys' screen, there is a one, a two, and a three. One of these three numbers is basically a job in Bikini Pod. Right now I'm wearing my Krusty Krab employee shirt as you can see here. You get a job in Bikini Bottom. You get an even number, odd number, or a zero when you hit the like button. Also, if you guys aren't already, join the notification squad. A lot of you guys saw the last video that were new here and you guys didn't even, you know, you guys just watched. All of you guys watch the videos were aren't subscribed, but you watch them every day. What is up with you? Subscribe, subscribe, hit the bell button too. Do not miss a video when I post it? And also, right now, hit the like button because you'll find out what job in Bikini Bottom you get in three, two, one. Zero, let me know down below what job Bikini Bottom did you get? Are you satisfied with your job or you have a crappy job? Let me know down below what you're gonna do in Bikini Bottom with that job. But anyway, let's get started on making me number one. All right guys, so this is the hat, the Schmitty Man Wurman Hat and Jensen hat. I was number one. So basically what we're gonna do is we need to get in order for it to be a, you know, a drinking hat. We need to have, I'll put a picture on the screen over here somewhere so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Well, this is what we need to do. We have to have the actual compartments of the cans, we have the straps, we have the tubing, and in order to make this hat perfect. So we're gonna try that blazer. We're gonna make one that looks exactly like it, and then another one that actually functions. So first off, we gotta go Home Depot. We gotta find some green tubing. We also gotta find some other minor stuff. We have to go to Michael or some kind of like crafting store for. And then we're gonna start on creating this hat. And like I said, this hat's gonna be used for something very, 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 very important very soon. All right, so we're gonna be starting constructing right now. I'm gonna go basically wear this hat and this shirt the entire day. I'm gonna see if anybody notices. I don't think anybody will, but we'll find out. And another thing, just been wondering what happened to my car because we've been we've been driving super smoother a lot. Super smoother right here, just because yeah, I'm actually showing you guys my badass car. <laughs> and basically, I have my other car, a rep car, it still exists. I haven't been driving as much because, you know, it's not very fuel efficient, but I've been driving every single day. I just don't film it all the time, but just for confirmation, I still have it. He's alive! And he's well. And that's what we're driving today. Super smooth is not here today. All right, so we got the white tape and then we also got spray paint because the cans that SpongeBob has on the actual cans are just like blank cans and obviously we can't find blank cans. So we're gonna spray paint and make our own. And now we're looking for tubing. There's some white tubing here, there's orange, there's red, but we don't see green. We're we'll gonna have to look around for it. Maybe we're sitting there with buy some green spray paint and make our own tubing. But we're gonna see what we can do here. All right, guys, so we're looking for a pool for a video coming up actually. And we saw this one, but we just couldn't pass it on <laughs> this guy right here. It looks like he's in iron all this. Oh, you see this yard? You see these beautiful. Kids, you see this, this, this woman is higher than this. This, <laughs> this is, 10 foot family pool. <laughs> this 10 foot family pool for $24.97. Me, Joe Adams. I own this. I've worked overtime for the last six weeks for this pool. But, but you I know what? It. it was all worth it. <laughs> I'm gonna pop my elbows on the side of this. I'm gonna lay my across my feet. And I'm, I'm gonna my, relax. My kids playing catch with nobody. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna relax. What I earn in my yard. This is the American dream. <laughs> <laughs> Includes drain plug. Does your pool have a drain plug? <laughs> Didn't think so. It includes drain, bro. I got this my for kid. steel. My kid's got an eight pack. What's your kid got? <laughs> he got the riblets. <laughs> All right, guys, so for SpongeBob's hat, he had just some plain labeled cans. I'll show you guys a picture right now. Just two cans, there's plain, and had a red logo on We couldn't find plain cans like that, so we bought Diet Pepsi ones. So, they're the closest to Dover we could find. But, had spray paint. So, spray paint is going to be used to spray paint over these logos to make them look like plain cans, and then it should work out good. So, let's go ahead and start that right now. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to add just a nice, simple, even coat all around the entire thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> the pubes, the pubes. That should be even. Wow, it actually looks really good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Sometimes it's not about the delicacy. <coughs> it's just about going for it. Like Nike said, like Adidas said, <laughs> uh, just do it. Just go for it. <laughs> just, just do that. Wow. Wait, did you did you already do the barbecue? Yes, I did. In the future, everything's chrome. Feel sharp. Feel sharp. Oh, uh, okay. Feel. I guess, we're, I guess we're doing this. <laughs> Looks pretty good if you ask me, though. Oh, sh**. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> no! It got my shoe. No! In the future, everything is grown! Dude, that looks sick! Oh my god. That looks sick. That's too sharp! Yeah, that's enough. That's enough spray painting stuff. It, it's a lot. Parker, this is the future. You can either be a part of it or you can live in the past. Those are the only two options. Those are the only two options. Paint some the chrome and be part of the future or live in the past. Future! Alright, me and Parker were curious. Definitely didn't didn't do it before. We're curious <laughs> as to what'll happen if you blow towards them while that spray paint on let's see what happens. Here we go, trying it. Three, two, one. That looks so trippy. It really does. <laughs> wow. It's, that's a new flavor on the market. I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna do that once more. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh! <laughs> that scared me, that noise. Dude, that's sick. Wow. That looks so cool. <laughs> Something's happening. You see it green? Oh, it was, it was creating green before, huh? Yeah, it was green. Wow, it burnt the first layer off. It was green underneath that before. That looks, dude, that looks like the devil's coke. <laughs> <laughs> the devil's beverage <laughs> coming to a bar to you. <laughs> wow, that was dope. It's Leave funny. a like if you didn't expect that. I didn't expect that to happen. That was sick. Oh, yeah. that, that was, was super sick. sicker. Are right, we gonna make a trail this time and see what happens? Oh, Ooh, that was instantaneous. That was so lit. Wow. Remember this? All right, we got a longer trail here. Let's see what happens. Ready? Oh. <laughs> It almost worked. It didn't make it over the next letters, unfortunately. HDTV. <laughs> that never gets old. Oh my god. Dude, it's, just, it's bleeding awesome. It looks like fireballs getting thrown at it. <laughs> that is so cool the way it bubbles up like that. I don't even know how all this is working, but it just looks really sweet. Something in the science. The devil's drink. Oh my god. Dude, the paint's giving it structural strength that it never had before. Because remember, it would make a hole instantly? Yeah. Now it's just cracking. The whole set is just cracking. But, ah! Uh, <laughs> well, you saw it here first. I don't know what that was, but it was cool. And you saw it here first. <laughs> All right, guys, so it's actually done. It's the next day as we do my shirt chain. But these cans are finally done. So we have some basic plain looking cans you can see right here. So now our goal is to, if you guys look at SpongeBob cans, put a close-up image of just the can. It's got a red label, and it's also got a white board around it. So what we're gonna try and do is recreate that as well. So Parker's gonna go in there. He's gonna cut some red circles, and I'm gonna tape around the outside, and we should be good with that. And then we have to make some tubing. So we're gonna do that after we get the red labels on there. All right, so for SpongeBob in real life, we needed the red label. So Parker already cut these red labels. They're made out of construction construction paper, pretty simple. And then he's gonna tape them around with the white tape, basically to make the things that are holding the cans in the actual hat on SpongeBob. So we're gonna see if it'll work like that and we'll come back to you guys. All right, so the cans are actually done. They're a little scuffed up, so we're gonna fix a few things on them and then we're gonna add them actually to the hat when we're done here. So that's done, but we still need the tubing that goes from the can to the actual, you know, mouth part. So there's no green tubing. So I bought this tubing, uh, yeah, you know, Home Depot, as you guys saw. So we're gonna spray paint this tubing green. Hopefully that should work just the same and it'll have the same effect as the green tubing on Spongebob's hat, but in reality there was no green tubing that we could find, so we're just going to try this one spray paint. Alright, so right here now we're going to do basically is we're going to spray paint this entire tube in green, and hopefully it should work. So the same way as we did before, we're just going to put a nice even coat on it, just like that, all the way around it. Nice you know and even. Nice and even, you know, it should stick to it just right. If I seem like I'm acting weird at the end of this video, it's because I'm probably very, very, very not okay. Talk about a hot box. <laughs> if you get it, you get it. All right, so we're gonna just leave that like that. I'm gonna do one more of these, and then that should be fine. And then we're gonna attach the cans to that, and we should be able to put everything all together. All right, guys, we have all the parts together. Now, now we're gonna mix all this up, you guys. We're gonna now I'm gonna show you guys. I don't want to ruin any, any effect. So you guys gonna have the SpongeBob right here, somewhere on screen, somewhere. It might be where I'm gonna point right here, but it probably won't be here. It'll be somewhere, up, somewhere on screen. But <laughs> basically, it'll be on screen. And right now, I'm gonna reveal you guys to the hat. Once I put everything together, it should come out the way I want it to. Hopefully, and we're gonna find out right now. Three, two, one, and next scene. Ta 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 
Number one! Oh, I was just returning the cursed soda drink hat to its original owner, Smitty Werben Jaegerman Jensen. What? There is no Smitty Werben Jaegerman Jensen! Sure there is. He's buried out in Floater Cemetery. No, I did I just did it! I would... Give me that trouble. I did it. It was his hat, Mr. Crab. He was number one! <laughs> later. As you can see, this is the number one hat. This thing came out amazing, came out way better than I expected, looks great, and one of my favorite things we've made, like overall, just one of my favorite videos to film overall in a long time, just I love all the Spongebob Ender Life videos, to be honest, and this is one of my favorite ones because it's one of my favorite episodes, really cool scene, I'm glad that we actually were able to make it, so now, we're gonna go inside and something else done. Alright guys, so unfortunately, I could have made the Spongebob hat functioning, but I just like the way it looked, so I'm gonna kinda keep it that way, and we're gonna try some of the stuff that Spongebob did with this actual hat, the second here. Gonna go get some bubbles and we're gonna put some bubbles in here so we can blow bubbles like he did in that episode. The clip right here. We're gonna see if we can do that and also just try and see one of these hats and see how they work in general. And I just really don't want to ruin that hat. Dude, you'll never guess what I just found out about that hat. Oh yeah, but where's where is it? Wait, where's the hat? Oh that? I just returned that cursed soda drink hat back to its original owner. Jeff Orban and Jensen. What the the reason no Jeff work it make it Jeff Jefferson? Yeah, just right over there in the backyard. I just I just what I just but Give me that shovel. It was his hat, Parker. He was number one. Ooh, it's beautiful. Come to Papa. Come on, come on, Smitty, let go. Okay. I got it. I got it. My million dollar hats. Hey, man. Not cool. Give it back. What? No. I'm gonna have to take it from you. You and what army? Only the arming of the living dead, of course. Oh, God. Alright guys, we're kind of already done, but this is just kind of for our fun and just for you guys to watch and see. So we want to see how one of those hacks from Spongebob actually were. We could have made a functioning one by just taking all this stuff off this one and putting it onto the Spongebob hat. And that was kind of the idea at the start, but it wouldn't have looked nearly as cool as what we made. So we still want to test out a lot of stuff, so we're going to try this right now. The video is technically already over, but this is just bonus content, so let's just check it out and see how this works. Did you fill it with something nice, or is that diet right? That is diet right. <laughs> That's old diet right. That is very old diet. It's been sitting out in the sun for, that years, is, uh, for a long time. So it's not even gonna be like a reward or anything. Mm -mm. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it worked. It works, but was it worth it? How do you keep this up? Like once you have it started, it seems to just keep coming out. Well, be no, 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 because it's just like uh, all like it's ends. So like when you suck it out, it sucks out a certain amount, and so it'll just only um, only a certain amount will come out afterward. Hmm. You know what I mean? You need that suction going to keep it up. That sounded really wrong. No matter what you do, you still have a little bit of like residue left. Probably. I'm trying to blow. Ready? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. That surprisingly not a drop of that got on me. Oh, I got on my shins. <laughs> Alright, so now that's the next thing. Let's see if we can make it like Spongebob where he actually blows bubbles. Let's see how that works. Alright guys, we're gonna try and blow bubbles like Spongebob, see if it works. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh my god. I mean, kind of. They're just gonna fall out of the ground. It's just kinda like throwing up. But in the water, bubbles. they would go up. If what? If we were in the water, they would go up. Spongebob underwater. Yeah, technically That's they would. why it makes sense. That's such a satisfying sound though. Yeah. One flying bubble, we can do it. <gasps> right as they but like branch off they pop. Nothing. Nothing. Well, we did all that at least, I guess. Yeah. 
A lot of damage, like a lot of, a lot of suds. All right, guys, that is actually. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys subscribe. This is the first video you've ever seen by me. Just do me a favor, subscribe right now. Hit the bell button so you guys do not miss it when I post a new video. And if this is the first ever SpongeBob in real life video you've seen. There's actually two other ones: it's SpongeBob weightlifting, also trying a real life Krabby Patty. So those will be on the channel. Make sure you guys go check those out. We'll give them a watch. They're also very, very funny and also really interesting. One of my favorite series of film. Let me know down below what other shows or SpongeBob again. What other scenes you guys want to see down below and as always I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you good people in the next video. Adios. Boop.